good friends should. Such a lot to do Building and fixing till it's good as new Bob and the gang have so much fun Working together, they get the job done Can we build it? Yeah! Can we fix it? Yeah! really is a mess, isn't it, Bob? We'll soon have it cleaned up, Wendy. My front bucket is full, Bob. Can you take it to the recycling center? No problem, Bob. Is that so our refuse can be used again, Bob? That's right, Rolly. Remember the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle, and rock and roll! <laughs> Rolly, that's five R's. Bob? Can I take my stuff to the recycling center, too? Of course you can, Muck. Then come back for more. There's plenty of refuse to move. Okay, Bob. <sighs> All done, Bob. Uh, I... Oh, Bob, look. A family of porcupines. They can't get across the road. Scoop! Muck, Lofty, stop everything. What is it, Bob? It's those porcupines. They're really frightened by all the noise we're making. Everyone keep quiet. Then they'll be able to cross. Great! They did it, Bob! Hmm, that's right, Muck. But I think the porcupines need a way to cross safely whenever they want. Slow down and, uh, uh, watch out for the porcupines. We really fixed it for them today, didn't we, Bob? Yes, Scoop. We really did. Now remember, it's a surprise. Wendy thinks she's gonna be camping in a tent. <laughs> and she'll be really pleased when she sees the trailer. And have even ordered some special panels to go on the roof. Yeah, and guess what? Those panels can make electricity from the sun. Wow, that's really clever. I'm putting you in charge of getting the new trailer ready for Wendy's arrival. I'll be back as soon as I can to help. Over and out. I'm really looking forward to being a builder again, Dot. I know, dear. And I have my first lesson with Wendy in the office later. I imagine things have changed a bit since you were last in an office, hon. Oh, yes. It's all gone, what do they call it? High tech. Whew! I'm starving. There you are, dear. And your father's making you some toast. Thanks, Mom. What are you doing today? I need to get back to Sunflower Valley as soon as I can. But first, I have to collect some materials for Wendy's new surprise trailer. Oh, I'll come with you, Bobby. Okay, Dad. Hi, everyone. Hello there. Morning, dear. Hi, Wendy. Well, Wendy, today's the day. I know. 
I'm so excited about moving to Sunflower Valley. I'll show Dot how the office works, and then Jenny's coming over to help me with my packing. <laughs> Enjoying your egg, I see, Bob. <laughs> Nothing tastes quite like Farmer Pickle's speckled hen's eggs. I'm really going to miss them. I suppose it'll be a long time, dear, before you have fresh eggs in Sunflower Valley. Okay, team, our first job is to move the trailer. Bob told me it was very important that we put it somewhere that would get as much sun as possible. How about you, Scoop? This place always gets lots of sun. Good idea, Rolly. Why does it need lots of sun? Well, Bob says he's going to put special panels on the roof that make electricity from the sun. So Wendy will have electricity? Yeah, to cook with and have lights on and things. Rock and roll! Bob will be here soon. Let's get to work. One Rolly special! Nice and hard and flat! Good work, Rolly! Ugh. Now, easy does it. Uh, 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 that's it. Just turn it round and uh, there. Perfect. Next, we need to make a pathway up to the door. We can lay down those wood chips that Bob made with the shredder. I know, I know. We can reuse Bob's mold and make some stepping stones, too. What do we do, team? Reuse, reuse. reuse. Recycle! Yeah, the three R's! Morning! Oh, you look just like Bob, but with gray hair! <laughs> That's because he's Bob's dad! Oh, hi, Bob's dad! I'm Skip. Are you on vacation? No, Skip. I'm going to be working here from now on. I'm the new Bob. <laughs> well, the old Bob, but... <laughs> You're gonna be seeing quite a lot of him. Oh, okay. Hi, JJ. I've come for my sun panels. Oh, okay, Bob. And this must be your dad. Bob's the name. Oh, you're Bob too, are you? No, I'm Bob. He's Bobby. Oh, Dad. Oh, look at all these catalogs. Here you go, Bobby. <laughs> Sorry. All the instructions and wiring are inside. Thanks, JJ. Well, we'd better be going, Dad. I have to get Wendy's surprise ready, remember? Yes, son. That's a great catalog. It has everything from hot tubs to hen houses. Oh, yes. Come on, Dad. Just a minute, Bobby. Your dad's slowing us down, Bob. He doesn't mean to, Muck. He's just enjoying himself. But we've got to get Wendy's surprise ready. What's left to do? Uh, well, we still have to go to Farmer Pickles and pick up some stuff there, load up the plants, pick up Pilchard's things, and drive all the way to Sunflower Valley. That's a lot, Bob. Will we get it all done? <laughs> I don't know, Muck. I don't know. I'm worried that there's not much more we can do without Bob's help. I know. I wonder how Wendy's getting on with her packing. What did you call this one again? A fax machine. It's like sending a letter down the phone line. You put the thing you want to send on the top like this, there, and then dial the number that you want to send it to here. Oh, I see. Good. Then I'll go and get on with my packing. Oh, no. I don't think it worked. It hasn't gone anywhere, dear. <laughs> oh, no, Dot. The piece of paper doesn't go down the phone line. Just the information on it. Hmm. Oh, it's going to take me a while to get to grips with all this newfangled technology. Would you mind just showing me again? Scoop to Bob and Muck. Can you hear me? Over. Hi, Scoop. Yes, we can. Will you be long, Bob? We're really going to need your help soon. I know, Scoop. We're with Farmer Pickles now. I'll be there as soon as I can. Promise. Over and out. Okay, Scrambler. I have to go and pack. 
I really want to get to Sunflower Valley as soon as I can and put my tent up before it gets dark. Oh, it's gonna be an awesome adventure, Wendy. I'll give you a shout when I'm ready. I won't be long. No problemo! Me and my trailer are ready to scram! Scram to the valley! Scram to the valley! I think I've finally gotten the hang of the fax machine, dear. It's a marvel. Oh, that's great! See you later! And the eggs are all organic, you say? That's right. Nothing beats the taste. I don't know why more people don't keep chickens. Dad, I've got to go. Oh, dear, I'm in trouble again. I'd better go, Percy. You should come over for dinner with me and Dot sometime. I'd really like that. Hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, hi, Wendy. More boxes? Okay, I'll go and find you some. Yes. Uh, bye. Now what, Bob? Wendy's run out of boxes. We need to go to the recycling center and get her some more. What, now? Well, what are we waiting for? Thanks for everything, Farmer Pickles. No problem, Bob. I'll be over to Sunflower Valley later to choose a land for the Sunflower Farm. Oh, yes. That's really exciting. I'll see you there. Bye, and good luck with the surprise. This will be just the thing. That should be enough boxes. Good thing there's nobody here for your dad to talk to. I know, Muck. Now, let's go. Come on, Dad. Dad? Oh, he's gone. Dad? Dad? Where are you? Now, Scoop, I want you to start clearing the ground here while Lofty and I work in the next field. No prob, Bob. Oh, look. It's a little worm. Hello, Wiggly Worm. <laughs> I'd like to stay and talk, but I have lots of digging to do. There. You'll be safe now, Wiggly Worm. Wait a minute. I I put you over there. <laughs> Come on, Wiggly Worm. Back you go. There. Now don't you move. Whew. There's a lot to clear away. Not again. You've been wiggling all over the place. Now, this really is the last time. You have to stop wiggling back. Hi, Scoop. Have you finished your digging? Uh, no, Bob. I have to keep moving this wiggly worm out of the way. But there's not just one worm, Scoop. There's lots of worms. Look! Where? Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. There's lots of them, Bob. Worms are very good for the soil, Scoop, so you have to look after them. So Scoop's done really well, hasn't he, Bob? That's right, Lofty. Good one, Scoop. All your worms are safe and sound. <laughs> and very wiggly, too, Bob. More wiggly than a rabbit's nose. What are you doing? We're planting trees, Spud. That's not very exciting. But trees are very special. During the fall, their leaves drop to the ground, rot into the soil, and hold it together, making it strong. It's good to be a tree, then, isn't it, Bob? It certainly is, Spud. Come on, you two. Let's go and get some more trees for planting. If trees are so special, then I want to be one. Now, let me see. I'll just take a couple though, and then grab a spoon. Spot the tree! That's me! 
<laughs> oh, yes, I like this. Well, now it's time for fall. <laughs> oh, come on, silly leaves. You're supposed to drop off and make the soil strong. <laughs> Oh, bother! Hey, go away, crows! Shoo! Shoo! And you rabbits, stop that! <laughs> it tickles! Spud, <laughs> what have you been doing? Oh, I was being a tree, Bob. But it's no fun. Crows keep landing on me and rabbits have been tickling my feet. Well, birds and animals like trees, Spud. Some of them make their homes in trees. Being a tree is very important. That's right, Scoop. Trees don't only grow leaves and give animals homes. They're out in all weather, making oxygen, which we need to breathe. It sounds like very hard work. I think I'll stick to being a special scarecrow. Oh, Spud. Hi, Bob the Builder here. Wendy is moving to Sunflower Valley. My mom will be running the building yard office in Bobsville. My dad is looking forward to being a builder again when he takes over running the building yard for me. The gang and I are getting a surprise ready for Wendy. But where's my dad gone? Dad! Dad! Where are you? Bob's dad! Bob's dad! Oh, it's no use. He isn't here. He can't have gone far, Bob. Don't worry, we'll find him. Muck to the rescue! The concrete's all set now. Lofty, can you tip the stepping stones out of the mold? Oh, uh, okay, Scoop. Ta-da! I think I'll just check in with Muck again. Scoop to Muck, can you hear me? Over. Hello, Scoop. Are you on your way? No, sorry, Scoop. We've had another hold-up. We've lost Bob's dad. Oh, no! Well, tell Bob we can't do anything until he gets here. Okay, Scoop. We'll be there as soon as we can. Over and out. Oh, no. They still haven't left Bobsville. I hope they get here before Wendy does. Dad! Where are you? Bob's dad! Bob's dad! I'd better take these boxes to Wendy. Okay, Bob. I'll wait here in case your dad comes back. How am I gonna tell Mom that I've lost him? Tell your mother what, son? Dad? I've been looking for you everywhere. Sorry, Bobby, but I suddenly had this great idea. Well, Percy Pickles gave it to me, really. It's... Well, what are you talking about, Dad? Look! A hen house! So Wendy can still have eggs from Farmer Pickles' hens. That's brilliant, Dad. I brought your chickens, Bob's dad. Thanks, young spud. They look fantastic. Now, Henny, you be a good chicken and lay lots of eggs for Bob and Wendy. Oh, I'll miss you. Well, you can come and see them anytime, spud. Mom! Oh, I haven't had that much fun in years. Thanks, Scrambler. Anytime, Bob's mom! I'll take you off-roading next! <laughs> Where have you been, Mom? Shopping, dear. I'm gonna make us all a lovely lunch. Oh, I'm really sorry, Mom, but I don't have time. I'm off to Sunflower Valley to get Wendy's surprise ready. I'm making a picnic, dear. Yes, but I... Stop worrying, son. We're coming with you to help. Really? Oh, thanks, Mom and Dad. That's great news. Come on, let's get the trailer loaded up and get to Sunflower Valley. Scrambler. Yeah, for sure! We're gonna do some serious off-roading! Cool as a mule, dude! So, all set? See you later, Scrambler! In a while, Crocodile! Mug the scoop! We're leaving now! Fantastic! Over and out! Hello, 
everyone. Hi, Hi Farmer Pickles! Hi, Travis! We've come to look for some land for the sunflower farm. Brilliant! Oh, can I come too? Oh, and me? Uh, well, Bob won't be here for a while, so yeah, it'll be fun to go exploring. Rock Brilliant! And roll! Hey! I didn't know there were sunflower farms. Well, how much do you know about sunflowers, Dizzy? Um, they're very pretty. And tall. And yellow. That's true. But did you know that this part here is full of hundreds of seeds? Really? Oh, yes. And you can use the leaves and seeds to feed animals. Wow. What else? You can make oil from the seeds that is good to cook with. Cool. Rock and roll. The stems can be made into paper. I never knew that. The flowers make a good yellow dye. Great. Yellow's my favorite color. Oh, and sunflowers even get used in medicine. Medicine? Oh, that's oh, like, wow. you know, four things or something. They're pretty, too. Sunflowers are really important, aren't they? That's right. So it's a waste to have all these flowers out here and not do anything with them. What is it that Bob says? Reuse, reuse, recycle! It's no good here. Why not? Well, for a start, there aren't any sunflowers growing. So that means they don't like it here. Exactly. Sunflowers like good soil and lots of sun. This field is too shady. Never mind, though. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Here we are, Mom and Dad. This is my new home in Sunflower Valley. Oh, it brings back such memories. Yes, we've had some great times out here, haven't we? Well, I hope we'll have plenty more. Hello, Bob the Builder. Okay, Wendy, see you soon. Bye. So, team, can we build it? Yes, we can! Hang on a minute. Where is the team? This looks more like it. Nice, rich soil here. No trees to block out the sun. And the sunflowers look happy. I just bet there's room for plenty more to grow here. This'll do nicely. Hooray! Hooray! Muck the scoop! Can you hear me? Over! Hi, Muck! We're here! Okay, we'll be right back. from the sun, Bob. Well, Lofty, I'm going to angle these special panels toward the sun, and they'll collect energy from it. Oh, that's clever. Um, what things does it power? Things like the lights, the stove, the coffee pot, and the fridge. What happens when the sun goes down? There's a big battery inside the trailer there that stores up all the energy that the panels collect from the sun. Oh, so the battery powers things when the sun's gone. That's right, Lofty. Here you are, Henny and Penny. This is your new home. Oh, it's very cozy in here, dear. Here you are, Mom. One cup of tea made with sun power. Really? Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't taste any different. <gasps> that sounds like Scrambler. Quick, everyone. Wendy's coming. Let's make a line in front of the trailer so she can't see it. everyone! Wow! Sunflower Valley rocks! Flower power! That is awesome! Where should I pitch my tent, Bob? Um, how about... Surprise! <gasps> is that for me? Yes! Everyone's help get it ready! Oh, that's wonderful! Oh, it's so cute! My very own trailer and... With a garden and everything. It's even got sun panels on the roof that make electricity, Wendy. There's some vegetables growing in the garden with lots of lovely flowers to make it pretty. And Dad has made a special surprise for you. You'll still be able to have your favorite eggs for breakfast. Thank you, everyone. 
I think I'm gonna love it in Sunflower Valley. Making a basket, Dizzy. How do you make a basket, Wendy? I take twigs that I found and I weave them through other twigs like this. And around. Just like my grandmother taught me. Can I help weave the basket, Wendy? You can, Dizzy. I'm almost out of twigs. You can help me find some more. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> we need twigs that are long. And bendy, like this one. Oh, look! Here's some. Oh. Oh, well, now, that's strange. I thought I'd put a lot more twigs in here. Oh, well. Are these good twigs for weaving? They sure are, Dizzy. These are just right. Oh, where are the twigs? Oh, look, Wendy. The bird's been taking our twigs. Is he making a basket? I think he's building a nest, Dizzy. Look. I think that's Mrs. Bird, Dizzy. Mr. Bird is making the nest for her. Oh, oh, I'm glad we shared our twigs, Wendy. The birds have a new home now. Oh, <laughs> oh looks like you found a friend, Dizzy. Dig it! Woo! Rock and roll! 